Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz. My name is Derek, and you already know what it is. I'm going to start putting content on this channel, video content about the NFL. I am. I love talking about the game. I love streaming. But I'm going to try to grow my video audience back as well. Sometimes I'll be on camera. Sometimes I won't. So welcome to the first video. We're going to get content out for you every day. At least I'm going to try to. But coming out yesterday, I'm on JetsFactor.com. Came out yesterday that the Green Bay Packers are willing to trade Aaron Rodgers. That's that's what I believe. Jordan Love, according to insiders, have given them an ultimatum. And I, I'm not mad at him. Aaron Rodgers had to do the same thing when it came to Brett Favre. He kept playing games, and eventually they traded him away to the New York Jets. He found his way back inside the division to the Minnesota Vikings. And now, 15 years, 15 plus years later, the same thing is happening with Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love. Now, Jordan Love has had enough, and he's entering year four. So either he wants to go or he wants Aaron Rodgers to be gone. That's what's coming out anyway. And yesterday, it came out that the Jets are on the radar to trade potentially for Aaron Rodgers, the Indianapolis Colts as well. This is very intriguing to me. I am a Detroit Lions fan. Everyone knows this. I would love to see this man finally out of our hair. Comes out that the Green Bay Packers are not willing to trade him within the conference. Not the division, the conference. So they will send him to the AFC. I could see a, a trade package where they would say otherwise if it is good enough. But here's something that I wanted to show you. Peter King came out yesterday and with possible trade compensation for Aaron Rodgers. And here it is. Peter, Peter King speculated on Pro Football Talk's Morning Football in America that the Packers want at least two first-round picks for Aaron Rodgers. Don't forget, Aaron Rodgers is 39 years old. That seems a bit rich for the 39-year-old who could very well decide to call it quits after the season, saddling the acquired team, acquiring team with a $43.7 million cap hit the following year. That is insane. So what he's saying is that if they do sign Aaron Rodgers, who's 39 years old at the time, he's going to have to play before, before or after 40. 40. He's going to have to continue to play. It's important to note that Rodgers has a 58.3 million option for 2023. That's the year coming up. Why is it called an option? It's really just for cap purposes. Financially, he is guaranteed to be paid that money this year. Basically, what this means is that if the Packers were to pick up the option before they traded him, they would be left with over $99 million in dead cap. That is insane. Meanwhile, if the Packers trade Rodgers post-June 1st, you can make a post-June 1st designation trade, which is the only time that such a trade makes sense for them cap-wise then it is up to the acquiring team to pick up the option, which would make Rodgers' cap hit $15.8 million in 2023 and $32.5 in 2024. That is crazy. So that means that we won't see anything before then. We could, but it would be designated to happen after. So you can do that. This is what will almost certainly happen if Rodgers is traded. The cap hit looks manageable. And I think for a team that thinks that they're right, that they're right there, that they're right there, that all they need is a quarterback, if the Jets feel like they're that team, then they could do that. Now, the thing about the Jets is they have built through the draft. They have had multiple first-round picks over multiple years, and they were there. They started the season off really, really good, and then they ended on a five- or six-game losing streak, and the quarterback had a lot to do with that. It had a ton to do with that. They've already said – according to Jake Glazer during the season with like a month left that they were willing to move on from Zach Wilson in just his second year that they're, they're already saying he won't be on the team next year. And if Aaron Rodgers is traded to the New York jets, that is a guarantee that that will not be the case. He will not be on the jets next year, but let me know in the comment section below. Do you see Aaron Rodgers being traded? If so, it will have to be after June 1st that the salary cap and hit would be more manageable if that is a designation for after then. So I'm happy to see this. I can't stand him. I'm ready for this to be over. Get him out of here, and then he can finish his career somewhere else. Wouldn't that be ironic? 
wouldn't that be ironic that Brett Favre left the Green Bay Packers and wound up with the Jets? His first game, no longer a Packer. Although it lasted for one year, how crazy would that be if Aaron Rodgers follows in his footsteps? So let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, video content will be coming on this channel, so be ready. I appreciate everybody who found me from streaming, but it's time to get this content out again. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.